Okay, this time I will try to uh, create external class called Pisa that may refers to MVC uh, model and then we obviously refers to FXML documents then C uh, refers to controller so let me just extend the uh, idea of a model so um, let me use the Pisa as a class with uh, three properties so let me say um, type second one will be um, size so if you are not familiar with using uh, NetBeans or Eclipse uh, you we can actually create uh, properties like a pizza type, size and price with uh, a set of uh, setters and getters sometimes you may report this accessors and mutators so basically saying a very simple way of uh, designing class with the properties and method associated with uh, three properties in this case okay there are three properties and then three set of method one refers to uh, Uh, getting information out of objects and setting information to uh, objects okay now let me add a constructor and then maybe I will add a default constructor as well so we can construct the object using default constructor or we can construct the object using uh, three parameters So we have a pizza class. Then, uh, as you can see from your navigator window, we have uh, two constructors and uh, three set of methods and then three properties. Okay, before I use a pizza object, let me uh, sort it out a few things here. Um, how I am pizza the string objects? We can actually get it from uh, lady button. So RB Hawaiian get text. It will return the value of uh, lady buttons. And then RB seafood dot get text is going to return the value called uh, seafood as a string value. RB Pezi get text will return um, okay, Pezi as a string value Okay, let me uh, double check. Pezi small number one order. It actually returned the value from uh, lady button. I think I need one space uh, after Pezi. Then before the um, the unit price. So let me add one space here. I will do the same for seafood and uh, Pezi. Okay, that should be okay then. Okay, let me look in line number 72, say price equal to 5.59. So if we have a one object called Pizza, we can actually assign the value using method called set price. So let's say uh, pizza using uh, this time default constructor because we don't know the value until we change to uh, certain ready buttons. So I will use a default constructor and then set price. 
at least we know that that is uh, 559. In practice, it might be slightly different, but again, uh, 559 has a given value here. Okay, pizza has uh, two other properties, so we will deal with that. So RB Hawaiian is selected means we know the type of pizza. I assume that number one is a Hawaiian pizza. Then we should be able to say um, set size based on the choice box. So choice box we can use the method called um, CB. Um, CB size, uh, we can actually use that one directly, so we don't need to create another variable called uh, size on line number 70, so let me commit it up. Okay, it says uh, pizza.getPrice, so that's the method. Now it seems more on uh, object-oriented programming. Here I will say uh, pizza dot get size. Okay, that means incomparable data type. Okay, because the size I think it should be index value, not item. Uh, we are not interested in uh, name of the size, small, medium, large. We assume that um, index value zero refers to small, one for medium, maybe two for large. So if you go back to pizza class, um, I actually say uh, size equal to like a uh, uh, integer value. So it should be integer value. Okay, let me just um, make it clear. Number one um, refers to Hawaiian pizza for radio buttons. Then uh, number two for seafood. Number three for um, vegetarian. So I may need to go back to same builder then change the um, order of pizza types. I may move to. I may move uh, vegetarian to last item. Okay, here uh, for seafood, it's um, pretty much same, just different type. Um, when we set the pizza size, it's exactly same. Again, uh, here is a set type. Sorry. Okay, pizza size is identical as it is, so I will just copy and paste it, okay. Okay, pizza set price um, 9.59. Sorry, uh, again, uh, set price. Here are also same uh, pizza dot set type equal to three, so I will say three. Then pizza set size again is exactly same. Uh, depends on choice box. Okay, set price for. 59, okay, so I will copy paste it, um, pizza to get price, again pizza get size, I think 56, uh, it should be pizza. Okay, 
everything seems okay. Okay, let me save and then go back to Sim Builder. Okay, let me make a same order. So I will move um, vegetarian lady button after seafood. That's all. So Hawaiian seafood vegetarian. Okay. Okay, make controller. So what we have done is um, we add one more class to to our uh, model following business logic. So we have a pizza class with uh, three properties, uh, type and size and price, then uh, three pairs of methods. Then I introduce two constructors. Then we are using those um, um, those features to uh, JavaFX ML here. So if you look at the first one, uh, it actually getting the data from FXML UI controls and then save to um, PJ objects. Then we are getting back to uh, to text area. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you.